Hi, this is Dee Dee, ready to read to all my friends. And I've got a really good book for you to read. The Oxcart Man by Donald Hall and the pictures by Barbara Cooney. In October, he backed his ox into his cart and he and his family filled it up with everything they made or grew all year long that was left over. He packed a bag of wool he sheared from the sheep in April. He packed a shawl his wife wove on a loom from yarn spun at the spinning wheel from sheep sheared in April. He packed five pairs of mittens his daughter knit from yarn spun at the spinning wheel from sheep sheared in April. He then packed candles the family made and he packed linen from flax they grew. He packed shingles he split himself and he packed birch brooms his son carved with a borrowed kitchen knife. And he packed potatoes they dug from their garden but first he counted out potatoes enough to eat all winter and potatoes for seeds for next spring. He packed a barrel of apples, he honey and honeycombs and turnips and cabbage. And when they boiled and boiled and boiled sap away from the sugar, the maple they got from the trees, they got maple syrup. And he packed a bag of goose feathers that his children collected from the barnyard geese. When his cart was full, he waved goodbye to his wife and daughter and his son, and he walked at his ox's head 10 days over hills, through valleys, by streams, and past farms and villages. Until he came to Portsmouth and Portsmouth Market. There he sold a bag of wool, he sold a shawl his wife made, he sold five pairs of mittens, he sold candles and shingles and birch brooms, potatoes, apples, and maple sugar, and he sold a bag of goose feathers. Then he sold the wooden box he carried the maple sugar in, then he sold a barrel he carried apples in, and then he sold the bag uh, that the potatoes came in, and then he sold the ox cart. Then he sold his ox, and he kissed him goodbye right on the nose. Then he sold his ox's yoke and harness, and with his pockets full of coins, he walked through Portsmouth Market, and he bought an iron kettle to hang over the fire at home, and for his daughter, he bought a sewing needle and that came from a boat in the harbor that sailed all the way from England. And for his son, he bought a new knife for carving birch brooms with. And for the whole family, he bought two pounds of peppermint candies. Then he walked home with the needle and the knife and the peppermint candies tucked into the kettle and a stick over his shoulder stuck through the kettle's handle and coins still in his pocket. He went past farms and villages over hills through valleys by streams until he came to his farm and his son, his daughter and wife were waiting for him. And his daughter took her needle and began stitching. And his son took his knife and started whittling. And they cooked dinner in their new kettle. And afterward, everyone ate peppermint candy. And that night, the ox cart man sat in front of his fire, stitching a new harness for the young ox in the barn. 
and he carved a new yoke, he sawed planks for a new cart, and he split shingles all winter. While his wife made flax into linen all winter and his daughter embroidered linen all winter, his son carved Indian brooms from birch all winter and everybody made candles. And in March, they tapped the sugar maple trees and boiled down the sap. And in April, they sheared the sheep, spun yarn, and wove and knitted. And in May, they planted potatoes, turnips, and cabbages, while apple blossoms bloomed and fell. And while bees woke up, startling, starting to make new honey. And geese squawked in the barnyard, dropping feathers as soft as clouds. It's so good to be with you again. I hope you enjoyed that. Bye for now.